Hi, John Valvano here, and in this video, I'm going to calculate the accuracy of the measurement. Now, accuracy is the difference between truth and measured. Uh, now, again, because we don't have a real oscilloscope, uh, we're going to uh, use a different function here listed in the Lab 8 manual uh, to do the accuracy uh, calculation. I'm going to copy that there, and I'm going to go over to text, uh, go over to uh, Kyle and paste it in. All right, here it is in, um, in Kyle, paste it in. And like I said last time, I introduced some hardware averaging. If your data is jumping around a lot, you could increase this uh, again. So if you put this as a 5, uh, that'll be a 32-point averaging. It'll take twice as long to convert, uh, but the, the uh, data will be less noisy. All right, so we're going to build it. Uh, download it and debug okay and so you can see what it will do is it will um, um, uh, sample the A to D converter use the function we did last time to convert uh, A to D into the integer portion of the decimal fixed point number and then print out in this case both the A to D conversion value and the number as a fixed point value. And again, you wrote both of these functions in lab seven. All right, uh, let's run. Okay, <clears throat> now over on the, on the device here, we have the uh, measured value and I'm gonna uh, set up five different values. So I'm gonna, let's go down here and we'll start with, okay, put my head in the same spot every time. I'm going to start with 3. Okay. Okay. 0 0.3. Okay. So I'm going to write it on a piece of paper this time. The true value of 0 0.3 and the measured value of 3.5. Okay. So let's go up to, say, 6. And you need about 4 points. And that's a 0 0.6 truth and a measured of 6.3. Okay. That's 6. 7, 8, 9, there's 10 right there. All right. So I have a true value of 1 centimeter and a measured value of 1.02. Okay. That was, and I have a true value of 1.5 and a measured value of 1.51. Okay, let's do one more. And again, it's probably best to use different values than you calibrated with. So let's put this down to 1.7. No cheating. Okay. No moving the thing until you see it perfect. Uh, in this case here, I've got a 1.7 uh, truth and a 1.72. You can see I got a calibration error, uh, but I don't care. Okay. All right. So that's the measurement phase. And so next what I want to do is to go to the calculation phase. Now, there's a lot of ways you can get out your uh, calculator and do this by hand, or you can go to the website and do it automatically. Okay. Okay, so in the ebook, um, in the section at the end of, um, of, of uh, ebook chapter 14, is this little uh, calculation uh, that allows you to put the numbers in. So I'm just going to enter the numbers that I, that I measured. 0.3 was the true value. 0.35 was the measured value. Uh, 0.6. Um, 0.63. Now I can after I get two in, I could push calculate, but I got a bunch, so I'm put them all in. So again, on the left is the true value, and on the right is the measured value. Okay, 1.5 uh, and 1.51, uh, 1.7, and a 1.72. I'm going to hit calculate. Okay, so I have five data points. The largest error was 0.05, and the average error was um, of 0, uh, 0.026 centimeters. And again, this is accuracy uh, either in maximum error or in average error. All right, so. Um, uh, Depending upon how well you calibrated and how well this thing uh, moved around, you may get better or worse uh, data than this. Again, it's not about making it perfect. It's about understanding what accuracy means. Okay, Accuracy is the difference between the true value and the measured value. Okay, have fun with this lab.